Hi everyone, Just for Sweets here. We're going to do a real quick video today with the holiday season here. Um, just, just um, I'm in the middle of doing a cake order and I thought, you know what, I'm going to, I was getting ready to do this uh, for the center of the cake and I thought I would share this with you uh, just in case some of you didn't know what this was and uh, I, I actually just learned it recently myself. But what I'm doing is I am making a double layer chocolate cake and um, it has a whipped cream, fresh whipped cream filling that I made and um, they wanted some raspberries in the middle. And what I like to do with the raspberries, I, I used to put them in there just whole, but now what we're going to do is we're going to macerate the raspberries. And so uh, I'm going to show you how I do that. And then it just makes the perfect topping to like a cheesecake without adding all the extra syrups and everything and just giving it a nice uh, raspberry flavor. Um, you can so like I said you can add it to cheesecakes you can add it to the top of a bunk cake uh, go back and look at one of my microwave cake recipes and you can stick the macerated raspberries right on top they not only do they taste good but they look pretty and um, and I'm using them in the center of a cake so that works as well so just wanted to give you a little idea you can also take these and um, macerate them and put them over a block of cream cheese and put them out with some graham crackers or something like that uh, for just a little sweet dip. So, all right, here we go. So what I've done is I have two little pints of, of raspberries and I have rinsed them in warm water and let them drain a little bit. And we are going to stick them, and I like to check them to make sure there's no icky ones in there. Um, but we're just going to put them in a regular bowl, just like that. And there's it. They're not necessarily icky, but there is some that have leaves and stuff stuck to them. Okay, and then what I start doing is I just kind of start mashing them just a tad. Now with macerated strawberries, the difference is, is that you do have some raspberry, I'm sorry, I said strawberries, raspberries. Um, you do have some raspberries that still have somewhat of their shape, so you get, uh, you get almost like a raspberry puree, and then you still have some of your raspberries in there. So it just gives it a nice pretty look. It also helps you to stretch out your raspberries a little bit further so that you get more out of them. Because if you just use the whole raspberries, sometimes you can only give everybody a few and then you're done. This way you can spread it out a little bit. Okay, so I've mashed them about halfway here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of powdered sugar. And I would say to these two pints, maybe a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half at the most because I don't want them overly sweet. I'm just trying to give them a little tad of sweetness. I'm also going to add to this, believe it or not, just about a quarter of a teaspoon of vanilla bean paste or vanilla extract, just to enhance the flavor of the raspberries. So we're gonna go ahead and mix those in, but at the same time, we're gonna take that back of that fork and just mash them. And it just makes more of like a raspberry sauce, just like that. Now if you want to get really festive and make it a dip over cream cheese, you could add some diced uh, jalapeno to this, some fresh jalapeno, and dice it really, really small and stick it in there with the raspberries. And you can even add a little bit of cilantro to it if you like and put that over cream cheese with some crackers and that's really yummy as well. All right, so that's how hard that video was. <laughs> I just wanted to share this little step with you because I was really excited when I learned what it was. So we have macerated our raspberries, and as you can see, there's a few whole ones in there still, but in between there is, you know, basically macerated is smashed. I don't wanna say massacred, cause that's kind of scary, but basically we're just smashing the fruit together. And then I'm gonna let it chill in the refrigerator for about 20 minutes before I stick it in the center of my cake. Um, but like I said, you can put it over the top of a cheesecake or a microwave cake or anything you wanna do with it. Make a dip out of it, put it over cream cheese with some graham crackers. And if you wanna make it more of a savory dip, omit the powdered sugar and vanilla out of it. Go ahead and add maybe uh, some fresh, fresh jalapeno, a little bit of cilantro, and you could even squeeze some fresh lime juice over the top and stick that over the top of cream cheese and serve it with some crackers. 
So anyway, that is my lesson on macerated raspberries. And um, I hope you check out my uh, Facebook page, Just for Sweets. And we also have a Facebook page. It's a group page that you have to go in and actually ask to be a member of. But I go on there almost every day. So I'll accept you so that you can share your recipes. And that group page is called Recipe Book. So go on there and ask to be a member and start sharing your recipes with everybody on Facebook. And you don't have to do a video. You can just type them in and then get ideas from other people as well. So um, anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful day. And until next time, next video, God bless.